Hello. Welcome to our Getting Started with TI AM26X Microcontrollers and MCU Plus SDK video. I am Nalab Anand, Systems and Application Engineer at Texas Instruments. Today I will be showing you how to get up and running with Texas Instruments AM26X series of microcontrollers. For getting started, we need AM26X eval boards, MCU Plus SDK installer, Code Composer Studio ID, and a Windows or Linux based development PC. First step would be to acquire an AM26X evaluation board. You can find AM26X based control cards and launch pads on ti.com. For this video, we will be using AM263PX control card. Next step would be to download and install the MCU plus SDK development kit for AM263PX system on chip which provides you with device drivers and peripheral examples to help you get started in your development journey. To download MCU plus SDK development kit for AM263PX system on chip, go ahead and search for AM263PX in the search bar. In the search results, you can find the link to download the software development kit. Click on the downloads button, downloads option, you can find the installer for the MCU plus SDK development kit for Windows and Linux development platforms. For this video, we will be using Windows development platform. Go ahead and download it. Once downloaded, go to the downloads folder and click on the downloaded file. A series of prompts will guide you through the installation process. Next, we will visit the MCU Plus Academy. You can find the link to access it on the download page of MCU Plus SDK. Click on the link. MCU Plus Academy contains easy to get started with technical content to kickstart your development with AM26X application. You can find all latest technical documentations like TRM, data sheets, user guide for control card, launch pads, etc. The Academy also contains easy to digest articles on different topics like SDK fundamental, device boot flow, real-time control, security and networking. Let's look at the getting started with foundational SDK section. This contains the link to the SDK documentation. Under the release notes section, you can find the details of new features in this release, modules, supported and tested in this release, device and validation information, dependent tools and compiler information, along with key features, known issues, etc. Under dependent tools section, you can see the Code Composer Studio required would be 12.7. Next, we will download Code Composer Studio ID. Under the tools section in the Academy, you can find a direct link to download CCS has been provided. Code Composer Studio is an integrated development environment for TI microcontrollers and processors. It comprises of tools used to develop and debug embedded applications. To download CCS, click on the downloads button. Download options. You can find the link to download both Windows, Linux, and Mac based OS offline installers. Click on the link to download. Once the download is complete, extract the folder and you can find the executable to install CCS. And a series of prompts will guide you through the installation process. Now that we have downloaded and installed CCS, we can launch CCS by going to the start menu, search for CCS, select the icon and launch it. CCS is an Eclipse based ID. You will be prompted to select a workspace directory. Use the existing one or make a new one and click on launch. Now we will cover example applications that come with MCU plus SDK. We will see how to build, debug and run your application. The SDK comes with many application and driver examples. You can find all of them 
under examples folder in SDK installation directory. You can find the detailed instructions on how to run the example in the SDK documentation. It is located under docs folder in the SDK installation directory. Or alternatively, you can refer to the academy getting started with foundational SDK section. To get started with our first application, click on import project. This step will bring a copy of your project into your workspace. Click on browse and navigate to the SDK installation directory. All examples and driver applications are present inside examples folder. Today we will try an LED GPIO blink example. You can find that example under examples drivers GPIO folder. Double click on LED blink example and select the board. We are using AM263PX control card. Select that, click select folder. Make sure that the checkbox is ticked. Click finish. We have got a copy of our example in our workspace. Expand the project to find the source code, configuration file, readme.html, etc. Click on readme.html to find the steps to run the example. Now let's compile the project. Click on build button to select the build configuration. You can build in debug mode and release mode. You can observe the console bar to monitor the status of build. Now that we have compiled the code, it's time to download the code onto the board. Make sure you have given the proper power supply to the board via 5 volt 3 ampere USB-C power delivery cord. Next, make sure that the USB cable is connected between the USB port of your PC to the USB port on your control card. We will be using one click debug mode to run the example. For that, make sure the boot select switch on your control card is configured in dev boot mode. Now that we have compiled the code, ensure the power supply, USB connection and the proper boot mode we are ready to get started with our first application debugging. To start with debugging, click on the debug button. This will launch the XTS110 debug probe. By default, the execution will stop at the entry point main function. Use the debug controls to step into and step over the code. The LED blink example also prints message on the UART COM port. Now to see the message, you, need, you can enable the COM port using the open terminal. Select the terminal type to be serial. Select the COM port and press OK. You can resume the execution by pressing the resume button on the toolbar. You can see the LED is blinking. Press the terminate debug control button in the toolbar to stop debugging. You have just compiled, downloaded and debugged your first MCU plus SDK application. Congratulations on this milestone. This concludes the video on getting started with TI AM266 series of microcontroller and MCU plus SDK. Check out MCU plus Academy to learn more exciting and latest technical content. Thanks for watching this video.